welcome to another episode of Ray's Corner. My name is Robin Lee and I'm with Ray Miller and today we're going to discuss Easter and Passover. We have lots of holidays coming up around the corner and we want to discuss today how we go about them in the store. Well let's talk about Passover and Easter as the holidays that they are. First of all Passover and Easter are religious holidays. Okay. For both the Christians and the Jews these are important holidays within their religious season. For the Jewish people this marks the day when they left Egypt and brought the, the Israelites back into the, the nation of Israel and that's a very important day for them. They celebrate that by having a Seder meal mm -hmm. which is the, probably one of the most important meals of the year and it has a lot of traditions around it. You talk about the why is today different than any other day, mm -hmm. the important questions that they ask, there are important foods that are had during this time and it's, it's a meal that celebrates the, the creation of Israel as a nation. So it's a very important holiday for both religiously and, and philosophically for the, the Israelis. For the Christians, Easter, of course, is the, ri the rising of Christ from the dead, and it, it creates one of the most important religious holidays of the year. Uh, both religions, this is one of the, the times of the year when just about everybody goes to church. If they go to church or they go to temple, just about everybody goes because these are important days. Okay. After that is finished, then they start to celebrate the day. Mm -hmm. And celebrating the day, as we've said before in other podcasts, seems to always revolve around food, family, and meals. Yes. So that's where we go from here. <laughs> what are some of the old traditions? Well, years ago, and particularly with, with Easter, we're going to focus a little bit more on Easter because it's an interesting holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened years ago was people used to dress up. It was an important day uh -huh. to dress up. And it really started because Easter really is the start of spring. Mm -hmm. And people kind of were done with winter. They've had enough. Well, Lord knows this year Especially. everybody has had enough. So it was a chance to, to uh, dress up in kind of uh, lighter finery mm -hmm. where you could mm -hmm. actually uh, go outside and enjoy the day and be outside without wearing heavy coats and things. So the biggest tradition, of course, is the Easter Parade. Mm -hmm. And in the Easter Parade, everybody got a new bonnet. The most famous song for Easter is in your Easter bonnet. Mm -hmm. And people would parade around, they'd welcome one another, and then they'd go home and have a big meal. We, of course, have changed that, as we always do. We somehow have added a bunny, a six-foot-tall bunny, who uh, walks around with a basket filled with eggs and hides them. Okay. We're not exactly sure where that tradition came from. And then we added candy. Mm -hmm. Somehow chocolate candy and marshmallow yellow peeps. And jelly beans. And jelly beans are all about Easter. Again, we're not exactly sure where that came from, but you know what? That's what Easter is about in, in many people's minds, and all the kids look forward to mm -hmm. it, and it's a fun day. Mm -hmm. And again, it's a family fun day. How is ShopRite involved? Okay. We are going to provide everything the family needs yes, for Easter. We, are. we have the candy, we have the, the, the meals, the preparation for the meals, both for Passover and for Easter, to make sure everybody can get exactly what they want for their family. Because again, this is tradition. The tradition of the fine clothing has changed a little bit, but the meal hasn't. People still want to have the good meal. They want to have the, the items that they, they enjoy for the holiday. Mm -hmm. And in our case for Easter, it involves things like ham, it involves things like lamb, mm -hmm. turkey, and for Passover, it involves chicken, it involves brisket, it mm -hmm. involves salmon. Uh, so that they're, each, each group has its own traditions and those traditions are important and that's what we provide for. And we'll make sure to have those in stock. Absolutely. <laughs> and when do these holidays fall this year? Okay, this year, the, the actually the holidays fall together this year. Oh, sometimes exactly. they're a week apart, sometimes they're even longer, but this year they happen to be together. On Friday the 2nd, Passover mm -hmm. begins, and this also begins the Easter weekend for the Christian groups, because mm -hmm. that's Good Friday. Okay. So the Passover uh, feast starts on Friday and the Christian feast starts on Friday, so it's all oh. the same weekend, so everybody gets to celebrate together. Whoa. All right. So we can expect a busy weekend. <laughs> yes, we can. It is a very busy weekend. Another big thing that's that's busy for both groups is flowers. People mm -hmm. love flowers, and again, it's spring, the first time we're actually going to see some nice colorful flowers out there. Will these be dress down days for any of us? We will dress down for Easter, probably starting uh, the Wednesday or Thursday before. Okay. And uh, it will be appropriate bunny outfits. <laughs> That appropriate will, bunny appropriate outfits. Appropriate bunny outfits that people will wear for Easter. <laughs> Excellent. So we'll have a little fun with it too. So that's what you can expect for Easter and Passover coming up this next week.